The world of nutrition is often taken for granted. Few people appreciate the practicalities, the problem solving, and the sheer science that lies behind providing nutrition when otherwise it might not be available. Biotech company Hayashibara hunts down the microorganisms and enzymes readily available in our natural world to harvest them as vital ingredients to nourish those who need it. I'm Andrew Wilson and I sat down with CEO Naoki Yasuba and Head of Sustainability Keisuke Takemoto here at COP28. So here we are, COP28, a great opportunity for your company, I think. Yes, thank you very much for giving us uh, such an opportunity. I'm very impressive. It's the first time for me to come to the, you know, Dubai and Arabian country. It's very interesting. And a lot of people getting together to discuss the same goal and to achieve this, you know, problem or solve. And KSK, you've already had some meetings, no? Yeah, so getting back to yesterday, so we have so attending a panel discussion of regenerative yeah, agriculture and government people and private sector all in get together. So it was a very impressive time. Let's talk about it some more in the studio. Yes, yes. thank you very much. Okay. Naoki, Keisuke, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So, Hayashibara, 140 years ago, you were making starch syrup, but now the company is completely changed. Tell me a bit about it. At the, uh, you know, Hayashibara had a long standing in the history. Uh, we are positioned as the, uh, you know, innovative manufacturer of the biotech company in Japan. And now we're expanding, you know, uh, to the business, the uh, beyond Japan, and uh, we are utilizing a uh, well, unique technology. That's the Hashibara. So let me explain our history shortly. So in 1883, Hashibara started the business as a starch syrup manufacturer, as you mentioned. So its products were spread nationwide and became number one starch syrup manufacturer in Japan. 1959 was a year of technolo technological turning point. We succeeded in the mass production of glucose utilizing enzymatic method. Since then, we have been evolving uh, biotech capabilities and launched flagship products, including Trails. In 2000, uh, 2012, we joined in Nagase Group, and we have been accelerating value added to the global with developing a variety of application and exploring physiological function. So this year, 2023, is a 140 years anniversary for us. We had three major events. First, we integrated Nagase Group enzyme business. Second, we set up corporate purpose. Yasuba-san will explain detail later. And third, we decided to change our corporate name from Hashibara to Nagasebita. So we just prepared so 30, just 30 second conce concept of video. We will change our corporate name from Hayashibara to Nagasebita. The new name Vita comes from the Latin word Vita, meaning life or living. Adding another I to become double I signifies our dedication to a prosperous future in harmony with nature. We strive to develop sustainable value by harnessing the power of nature with you. Nagase Vita. So we know one of the pillars of your company is, is, is nutrition. And that's nutrition for an aging population, but also for disaster relief as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So one of our materiality is contributing to increasing health and life expectancies. And our products of functional carbohydrate have power of stabilizing and improving quality of nutritious products. For example, our representative product, Trehouse, has an exceptional power of retaining water. And this makes uh, dysphagia foods or care foods easy to swallow and keep them taste good and fresh. Um, this property is also utilized for emergency rations. Not just through health, we have a product lineup of stable vitamin C and water soluble dietary fiber. And these products are also utilized for emergency rations as well as 
nutritious food and perfected food. The Tejaros is not well known in the foreign country. It's the Tejaros innovated in Japan first and for the application of the food processing. However, it's beyond that we developed new value of Tejaros, having Tejaros. That's a nutrition. So, and that, this issue of food systems and uh, gives Hayashibara its, its, its new purpose for a modern world, doesn't it? Oh, yes. The, uh, you know, the purpose, corporate purpose is very, very important for us. Okay, uh, the, first of all, let me explain the, the story and the process of making of the corporate, it's the corporate the purpose. In the past, a couple of years ago, I'm very concerned about the uh, company future and growth. At the same time, as you're aware, it's a COVID-19 outbreak and uh, invasion, Russia invasion of China has raised up. And uh, of course, the uh, you know, global business climate is getting worse than we projected. And of course, also, our business was very seriously impacted. A lot of discussion was made. How to survive? How to keep business running? And a lot of discussion internally was made. And something is, idea is picked up. And what, who we are, what we want to be, where we are going to forward. And a lot of discussion, a lot of discussion, a lot of discussion. Then one word coming to us, which is sustainability. Sustainability strategy and policy is in the heart of our strategy and principle. For that, what is necessary? Oh, that's a purpose. And what is corporate purpose? And through a lot of discussion, we intended to define in the corporate purpose. What is respect life and embrace the well-being of the people and the planet. That's our corporate purpose. That's the story of the making. And so here at COP28, this is a chance for you to explore partnerships, collaboration, to share scientific interests and developments. I mean, presumably this is a great opportunity for your company. You know, I did already, it's a take the action already. And, uh, you know, 2021, and, uh, you know, we made already a uh, participate in the UN food systems. And uh, we declared, just committed to the food system, global food system. At the same time, most of the same times, in uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Nutrition Summit was made. We participated in already. And we send the message to the you know, global, com global the people, because the, uh, a lot of the country people are getting together in Tokyo. And uh, we, Hashibara, we committed to food system. Then the you know, COP28 is such conference, is a very good opportunity for us. And we looking for, we looking for finding yes, such opportunity to collaborate with other countries because we have technology, we have an idea to solve it. But however, it is not so easy for us ourselves to do that. If the people is coming in and the collaboration, if collaboration was made, it's such trouble, such issue is believed to be solved in the future. That's our source. I ask both of you then, what do you think we need now for the global community to achieve, mm. to move things forward? Mm. Yeah, so, so this is a very, how to say, so difficult steps. But so I think at first we have to understand what is happening in the world mm -hmm. for each prayer. Uh, we should express, so for each prayer, we should express so some purpose, corporate purpose for contributing to you know, sustainability and also expressing the achieving uh, procedure mm -hmm. for uh, so realizing mm -hmm. our purpose. Mm -hmm. 
And then, so we need, we need a global, so mm -hmm. inclusive or embracing platform. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are so here mm -hmm. in COP28. So, mm -hmm. yes, to, to, make, yeah, to make up the uh, same Lego platform, to make same platform, it, uh, you know, mutual, you know, understanding of, you know, mutual thought is uh, very necessary to achieve the goal. It's not a good, not easy pathway. However, so we believe we can do that. Then collaboration or alliance is necessary. It's very difficult to do by each company. That's why collaboration is necessary. But I like to ask you to help and support. It's a media. It's very important for us to connect the each company and each region. You should be a bridge to connect. Please, <laughs> that's my final <laughs> you know, message to you and to all. All I can say to that is there are thousands of journalists and cameras here today. Now, the problem with journalists is they look at one thing one day and then they lose interest and move on to another. Mm -hmm. But I think what we've seen in 2023, even for people who are not looking at all, mm -hmm. there has been a lot to learn about the weather, about the climate, mm -hmm. about the difficulties. So. We all live in hope for some progress, don't you think? So we should also keep running, keep running to what is going on in the global. And, uh, but it's uh, not so easy for us to listen or to learn anything. So that's why your suggestion and your idea is very necessary. I can hear you. Well, thanks for introducing us to your company. Thank you very much. Thanks.